Hello and welcome to another Demon212 PS Vita review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at a game that I'm already going to get flack with because of how I pronounce it. I can't stand the way it is pronounced, so I call it Lumens. If you've got a problem with it, sound off in the comments. You'll most likely get blocked for being so petty that you're having a go at me for calling the game Lumens. Uh, anyway, as you might have noticed from the Eagle Eye Observer, my PS Vita has died. I'm having to use my brothers now. Uh, so hopefully I'm not going to mess anything up with his data, but basically Lumens, if you've never played it before, is a puzzle game, and it's a damn good puzzle game as well. I've not been a huge avid fan of the series, I've played them on and off, but this one I've got totally stuck into, and being able to put my headphones on wirelessly now, which is so much easier than on the PSP where I have the cable and kept catching it, I found myself getting totally absorbed by it, and it's the type of thing that I thought I'd play for five minutes and played for an hour and a half. It, it's absolutely mental. Anyway, at the start, you might notice it tells you your level, which, uh, to be fair, I doubt I can mess anything up with his data because he's level zero, so that's okay. Um, I've got uh, the friends list over there of people who are in our friends list who play the game, who like where the scores are, so I'm the top score at the moment because he hasn't set a score on the mode. Um, you can begin the voyage, you can play, like go into more modes, and when you're in more modes, you've got stopwatch, which is like a time trial, you've got time to shift blocks. Playlist is create your own playlist with the things you've unlocked. Master is increasing difficulties, um, and dual is simply ad hoc versus. Collections, where you go if you want to look at all your stuff because it's got RPG elements to it, so there's all sorts of things to unlock, like avatars, which uh, give you different abilities, so such as give you a shuffle block or a chain reaction block or make the blocks go slower or make them match up, just things like that. So it depends on how you play Lumens, to, depending on which one you want to use, but there's tons of them to get, so you can view your collection, you can go to your gift box and you can exchange things. Um, I'd imagine that's using the, uh, as I said, in my other reviews and I'm trying to make it clear I don't have the 3G version so I'm most likely never going to really be able to mention any near stuff or anything like that I just assume that's what it's for uh, I could be wrong and if I am someone can tell us and I'll put it in the annotations um, world block when it works this is very hard I, I'm looking at an angle obviously with being wrapped around the tripod and uh, there we go, world block, as it says there, huge fixed amount of squares, the goal for Lumens players is around the world to work together or erase the block when each day, 24 hours, player contributions can be uploaded when signed in and you can receive bonus EXP. It's uh, not something I think I'd ever use myself, it's just, it's kind of like co-op with the world, but why the hell would you want it? And I suppose it's a novel idea, and maybe it'd work in other games, but I don't really think it's my type of thing for this. Options-wise, you can go into your settings, you can go into your player history, your credits, and your tutorial and tips. The settings, the only things you can do is change how you want to play the game, because you can play it with touchscreen controls or just D-pad controls and that. Um, and you can choose whether it automatically sign into the PSN or not. So anyway, let's actually begin by playing the game because the, pretty much regardless of what mode you play in, you're going to be doing the same thing. So I've got rid of the puzzle mode, which I'm grateful for. I hated it. The puzzle mode was basically a picture would appear there or there and it would tell you what you had to create and then you'd have to plant the block. So you'd have to do that. So for example, there you could see it. I've made a P. Well, not really. And none of the stuff really ever looked like it. It looked like dodgy 8-bit versions. So I'm glad they've got rid of it because now it's just the main game and the whole point of the main game is to in case you haven't figured it out get blocks of four and make them into at least blocks of floor bleh, blocks of floor into at least bo blocks of four a uh, bit of a tongue twister there that never really thought it would be but it has done um and they then disappear when the line goes across and as you can see there i made a block of six and it's just as long as it revolves around in equal numbers because once you made it there i mean that's uh, that's seven but it's two fours technically so th those are the whole point of the rules and how it works and you've just got to basically keep going until you fill the screen and die um which there we go it's pretty much similar to tetris by the way that once you get at the top of the screen but uh it's just a simple basic premise, it's like 
all great puzzle games. It's simple but fun and addictive. Musically, the game is astonishing, and how it uses music is just miraculous. I've never heard the music evolve like anything before in a game as I have when I play Lumens. It's just a shame that there's no way to really do, like, you know, make your own custom soundtracks on the Lumens games or anything like that, because as far as I'm aware, there's absolutely no way to put the music on, but trust me, I will be trying it. I'll be putting music on my Vita memory card just in case, and if so, then look above, there'll be an annotation around about now. Read the annotation? If not, then there obviously wasn't one there. And if not, then obviously it didn't work. Which is a shame. But either way, it's, uh, just as I say, a simplistic game. If you like puzzle games and you've never played it before, it's well worth a go. If you're not a fan of puzzle games, then I don't think there's going to be much here to really t make you into uh, liking them. Because while the RPG elements in the game are really good with the whole unlocking stuff, it's, again, all revolves around doing this. So you've got to play this game quite a lot in order to get it. Uh, as you might have noticed there, by doing well, you get bonuses and you can get ultra bonuses and that. And it's just... As I keep saying, a very simple idea, but a very good one. I can at least use this avatar's power now, because I have got him. And you just simply touch the avatar, and there we go. It's made the next block a chain block, which chain blocks quite simply do that. So, I think that is everything I can say then. Uh, Graphically, the game looks amazing, to be fair, that's the only thing I haven't mentioned, because graphics and music are what the main point's about. The music's the main focus, and graphics are secondary, because it all looks amazing while you're doing it. The, they've changed up how they do the graphic style on this one, and it makes it look... Well, it makes it look different, that's for sure, and, and it's something that I certainly noticed straight away, and it's something that I found myself being able to get absorbed into it more, so I think they've changed it for the better. But there'll probably be people who disagree with me, and uh, you can't please everyone at the end of the day. So there we go then. That's been the review. I hope you found it helpful. I don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion, so instead, I'll leave you to make your own mind up. So thanks for watching, and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid, or that hasn't been answered in the comments, then feel free to ask, and I'll help if I can. Also, if you did find it helpful, don't forget to check out my channel, because there's plenty more like this up there, and don't forget to subscribe, because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.